beautiful day to have a conversation. Why do I do these videos? I'm just asking myself, even before social media, I would always love having conversations about life, about spirituality, about fun things, sports. I love to connect. I've been thinking a lot lately. I feel like I've been missing the mark through my energy and connecting with others on the internet and even in person. I just wanna be honest, so that's what the point of this is. I started to notice about a year ago, my life started to veer towards resentment, towards being bitter and jaded, becoming that old man, grumpy man, you know? When things go wrong, when people do you wrong, when death visits you, when these challenges uh, meet you head on, that slowly that armor of protection seems to wear down. I was thinking today, well, how, how did I, how do I rebuild that armor? The moment before I left Texas to Los Angeles, my dad didn't agree with me. My dad grew up as a musician, loves music. To this day, when he talks about music, I know that that's his life, his dream, his passion, that never, he never saw that through for many different reasons in his time. Yeah, when I was about to make that leap to go pursue these dreams in Hollywood, he said, son, I wish that out of all the talents you have, you would have chosen a different talent to pursue. I've been so used to my dad being so blunt and all my life that it really didn't, it almost, it's like it ricocheted off of me. I heard you, but I don't hear you, dad, because I'm doing this regardless. Like, this is what I'm gonna do. In that time, man, my life changed tremendously. From all of my experiences, like, what do I have to share with you, with the world? How do I communicate? How do I communicate all of these things that really it's just been a desire? And I know it's in you too, to just live life, man. To enjoy life, to, to pursue the things that burn your soul. But how do I figure this out? How do I succeed? How do I get this money? How do I really just do what I want to do in life? Whether that's family, whether that's faith, whether that's traveling, whether that's material things. How do I maneuver while keeping myself sane, while keeping myself pure? That's one thing that I was always observing. I meet people on both ends of the spectrum. Some here that are in poverty and are so bitter, blame everything on God, on everything on everybody else. And then on this other spectrum of people that their wildest dreams came true. They have it all and they are very unhappy. No peace. I love to read in the morning. I love to study and take time. I've been diving deep into a lot of things that personally I've been seeking to help me become the best human on this earth, not just musically. I do all these things because it's what I love. I love to read. I love to study. I have a lot of questions. I've always had a lot of questions since I was a kid. So I just want to encourage you, be yourself, not just because it sounds right today or because supposedly there's going to be other people championing you because they it that's just not true be yourself for the sake of you if you don't as been my experience you'll come out the other end sooner or later with the emptiness because there's nothing in this world nothing 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 in this world that will ever fill you it's like a tree within you that you just gotta let blossom and grow out. Provide you the fruit, provide you the shade, provide you all of that. And it's not gonna come from anywhere else but yourself within. So that's my point. Jimmy Swag loves you. See you rockers.